Hello everyone, welcome to Dada's Food Crave Kitchen. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make one of Gambian's popular street food called Ebe. If you are new to my channel and this is the first time you are tuning in, I absolutely thank you for stopping by. Before you leave, kindly hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell because you'll be the first to be notified whenever I upload a video. A quote from Mark, from Mark Wayne's, if it ain't spicy, I'm not eating it. Mark Wayne's, have you eaten Gambian popular street food called Ebe yet? This is it. If you are interested in seeing how I make this delicious, spicy Gambian street food, please stay tuned. And without any further ado, let's get cooking. Here I have a bunch of seafood medleys, which is mixed with a lot of different types of seafoods. Then I have some crabs. Some clams, which um, in Gambia we call it pine. Then I also have some shrimp here. And I have some smoked fish. If you have smoked cut fish, it's even better. But I don't have smoked fish, so I'm using smoked um, cutter fish. Here I have all my cassava all washed and cut in cube size, which um, some people know it as yuca. I'm also going to use some mackerel from the can. I'm going to put it in the oven and broil it. It almost tastes like kobobulaka smoked bonga fish. Then I have here some salt to taste. Maggi cubes. Then I have here some chili lime pepper. It's lime and chili mixed together. Then I also have some cayenne pepper. Palm oil. Here I have some tamarind. You can find them um, at your local grocery store. Some of them come this way. Some of them already, um, you can find them also in the shell already. And this is how they look like when you break the shell off the, when you break the tamarind off the shell. So this is how it looks like. All you do is just break it apart and just take the shell out. This is a popular Gambian street food. It also can be made at home. It, it's more popular in the street. Um, it's sold in the street, anywhere in the street in Gambia. Then you're going to need some lemon juice to add into the tamarind to make it very, very um, limey. So now what I'm doing, I'm just pouring the lemon juice in 
the tamarind and pour some cayenne pepper which is very 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 good for you guys and then i am going to also pour the chili and lime mix mixture then i'm gonna add three maggi cubes and some salt to taste Next, I am going to mix the tamarind and the lemon juice until they well combine and then put that put that aside. Now I am going to put my cassava, which some people know it as yuca, into a pot and then add some water and boil the cassava until it's soft. This dish is so popular and it's so delicious. I'm telling you, you're going to keep eating this food. Your belly will be so full, but your mouth will keep saying, give me more, give me more, give me more. It's so spicy and so limey and so delicious. I'm telling you, you're just going to keep eating and eating and eating. until. <laughs> yes, if it ain't spicy, I'm not e eating it. Mark Waynes, I would like for you to try this Gambian street food called Ebe. Yes, Mark Wins. So what I'm doing, I'm just going to add my habanero peppers into my um, mortar there. Then I'm going to add some salt. That mortar that you see there, it's um, popularly used. Um, um, usually the Ghanaian use this type of mortar. It's called asanka. So I ground my pepper into my asanka. Now I'm going to add more cayenne pepper into the habanero pepper. Yes, if it ain't spicy, if it's not spicy, I'm not eating. Then I'm going to add more cayenne pepper again. Mix that all well together. This recipe is a must try. It's a must try. If you never try Gambian Ebe, try it guys. Try it. It's so delicious. Now that after my mackerel has been in the oven, I broiled it. Now I'm just going to break them apart and take some of the soft bones out. Like I said, if you have smoked catfish, it's even better. And if you have the real kubobulaka, which is the smoked bonga, it's, absolutely, it's actually even better than the mackerel. But you know, living in the diaspora, it's so hard to get some of um, the ingredients from Gambia. But it's almost going to be close. So now, after a couple minutes, 45 minutes or so, I checked on my cassava yuca. So now, since the yuca, like I said, it's totally different from the ones in Gambia. I don't know for some reason. The ones in Gambia tend to mash up really easily and it's full of starch. Just going to take your potato masher and just kind of break some in the pot a little bit so that it will create more starch. Then you cover the pot, cook it, and then check on it. As you can see, after I use my potato masher, I mash it up a little bit and it's thickening up a little bit. So now I'm going to add my blended habanero pepper, salt, and cayenne pepper. spicy I mean if you don't like spicy food you can adjust the the spice into your liking but I'm telling you the spicy the better now I'm gonna add my red palm oil Then you're going to cover the pot and let it cook for a little bit. Check on it. Make sure it's not sticking from the bottom of the pot. Now I'm going to add my tamarind mixture with the lime and the cayenne pepper and the maggi. Spicy, limey and delicious. 
I hope this video will reach Mark Wins. This is for you. I would love for you to try Gambian spicy Ebe street food. If you never tried before, I will say go ahead and try it and let me know. I would love for you to try this and I hope you will reach this video will reach to you and you will watch it and one day you will have to you will get to try it. So now what I'm doing, I'm adding my crabs. I'm adding all my seafood, my um, pine, which is the um, clams. Then I'm adding my seafood medleys, which is mixed with a bunch of other seafoods like lobster and you name it. Then I added my shrimp, mix it away like so. Then I'm going to cover the pot, cook it, cook it for a couple minutes and then come back, check on it. Make sure it's not sticking from the bottom of the pot. Make sure it's, it's getting um, really thick as I want it. Then I'm going to add my smoked fish. Like I said, if you have the smoked um, catfish, it's actually even better than the smoked kuta fish that I'm using. And also if you have the bunga fish, which they call bunga fish, kububulaka, it's actually even better. So then I'm adding my smoked um, broiled mackerel. Mix it until they well combine into the ebe. And don't forget guys, I wanted to introduce my second YouTube channel to you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet to my second YouTube channel, I will put the link down below and subscribe to my second YouTube channel, which is Mama Honest Review. It doesn't have any, it doesn't have much content there yet, but I'm going to start uploading new content on that channel. So if you are new to my channel or you have been in Dada's team, I will absolutely love it if you join uh, Mama Honest Review, which is my second channel. And kindly join Mama Honest Review as you have joined Mama um, Dada's Food Crave Kitchen. So as you can see, I'm adding more cayenne pepper. If it ain't spicy, I'm not eating. I'm adding more cayenne pepper into the ebe. Yes, the more spicy and limey, the better. I'm telling you, you're going to keep eating. Your belly will be full, but your mouth will be like, no, I want some more. <laughs> your belly will be full. Your mouth will be like, no, I want some more. So cover the pot and let it cook for a couple minutes until the ebe is thickened. And I came back a couple minutes, check on it. As you can see, the ebe is thick. Like I said, mind you, the cassava here in the U.S. is not the same as the same cassava in, that we have in Gambia. Um, so this is the ebe, guys. The Gambian street food, popular street food called ebe is ready. Mark Wayne's try this Gambian street food and let me know. And I hope you will get to watch this video and you will one day get to try one of Gambian's spicy popular street food. Because you said if it ain't spicy, you ain't eating it. So this ebe is for you, Mark Wins. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I thank all my returning subscribers, all my new subscribers and all subscribers for constantly watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe to my second YouTube channel, Mama Honest Review. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.